Hey, Jenny. Wondering in Italian, if you could say, this is Andrea Denver and you're watching Bravo and Blaze with the amazingly gorgeous and much younger looking than she really is, Jenny Blaze. You want me to say all that in Italian? <laughs> you can um, improv however you want to say. Ciao a tutti, sono Andrea Denver di Summer House e oggi sono onorato di essere qui da Jenny Blaze on Bravo and Blaze con la bellissima Jenny che si... Guardate che viso, bellissima! Oh my gosh, I don't even know, but I love it, love it, love I said, look at that, I said, look at that face, beautiful! <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much! Andrea for being here. I feel so grateful that you're here with me. I know you're in Hawaii. So is it 8 a.m. for you? Yeah. Thank you for having me, Jenny. I'm really happy to be here. It's early morning, but you know, I'm, I'm excited so to be here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here with you. I think you're great. I think you're amazing. I love your heart. I love how you love your mother. You're, you seem like such a great guy with great <laughs> values and a great character. So I just had to ask you to come on to my show. And I'm just so great, grateful that you're here. Um, is your girlfriend with you by any chance? She is. I don't know where she's right now, but she, she's, uh, she's around. <laughs> oh, nice. Because I was going to ask you, are you in Hawaii to propose to her? Oh, no, that's too soon. <laughs> but one day, hopefully, it's going to happen. No, it's too soon. It's too soon. Like, you know, I, as I said multiple times, I like to, stay, to take one step at a time. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, it's a really romantic atmosphere, you know, I, I got to say oh, that. And uh, we're, so we're having a, a great time. Yeah. yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy myself, you know. You guys look uh, like was, you're uh, having fun. It was a long way to get a year, so oh, I'm happy that here we are. Oh, nice. So, so what are you yeah. doing in Hawaii? Are you doing any surfing or? Uh, you know, we're exploring. Uh, we're going to different beaches. We're going to, like, uh, go to another island tomorrow. And um, uh, we went to the turtles. Uh, oh, I, I love turtles. Big ones? Yeah, the big ones, yeah. Oh, my gosh, how to... old? Oh, I have no. no idea, but they were like 20, 25, like big turtles. It was beautiful. And I love turtles. I grew up like, like oh, with turtles uh, as a kid. So it was one of my favorite animals. I loved it. It was huge. That sounds and, amazing. Uh, I heard they live for like 200 years or something. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. They live for so long. I don't have the details on how old they are, but like, it was <laughs> definitely like really <laughs> Like I love that. Wow. Like uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Were you, so no, were you like, beautiful? Were you scuba diving or snorkeling with them? No, no, no. There's literally a beach where they lay there. Like they come out of the water and oh then they sleep. There. It's beautiful. There was that's like twenty amazing. of them, and wow. you gotta keep some distance, of course, because you gotta you know respect like uh, their that's space and sure. stuff, and you can <laughs> you can pet them or anything, but you see them like it's it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's great. So is it okay and, if I ask you more questions about your girlfriend? I think that's yeah, what everyone is so excited yeah. about. And don't worry, yeah. I'm married. I'm a taken woman. So oh, no, no, don't no, no, try no, to no, fall no. in love with me or anything because I'm off limits. <laughs> but I did see a picture that you posted. You said it was her birthday or something. And she's stunning. Um, and the Thank smile you. on your face says so much. So... I'm just like it's so great to see that you're you're with someone that you're very excited about. Is there anything you can tell us about her or your relationship? I know you've said before you're looking for an American girl to go to Italy. Um so she loves Italy, so that's a great start. Yes. She she loves Italian food and she loves the country and trying to teach her some Italian. And I think it's in her DNA because she pick up, picks up words like crazy. Wow. Like you don't even have, 
and her accent, believe it or not, is actually pretty great. Oh, like, nice. I see, I'm cool. telling you, it seems like it's in our DNA, so. Wow. Uh, Has yeah, your mother we're... met her? She did, and she really likes her. Oh, and my dad is, yeah, my dad, oh. my dad as well. Oh, like, that's you know, so great. Yeah, it was like, uh, I'm, I was happy to have their approval. And they were, they really liked her. That's amazing. And, you know, and then I had the chance to meet her family, so it was pretty nice. Also, like, a, I love her. I love her oh. parents and stuff. Yeah, you know, for me, family is everything. So it's good to to have that kind of, like, uh, connection and uh, have the same, like, morals and think the same way about, like, how important is family. Yes, that is very important, especially I know I have four children and I'm married. Oh, wow. So- it's a lot. <laughs> but speaking of children, so we know it's amazing. Big family. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big family. <laughs> but I know you said before that you're ready to settle down. Is a family something that you want to have, like a big family someday? So I grew up as an only child and I got to say that it wasn't a bad way to grow up, but definitely like I would love to have a couple of children. Like that would be like a goal, like a yeah. goal, like, you know, I would like to have a family of like uh, four, like, like my wife and then uh, two children. That would be oh. like the perfect uh, uh, situation. So yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to become a parent oh. in the next few years. Uh, you know it's I'm always being like a family oriented person it's just like you know I feel like I lost myself a little bit it's not that I lost myself I think it was like necessary for me to you know to understand what I wanted you know like dating around you know understanding like and also like I feel like you got to find the right woman you can't just settle down with the first person that you find on the way so it's important that you got to be sure about that connection that you have uh, with your other half and, uh, you know, sometimes it takes time. Uh, oh, so speaking of family, um, how does that play into your career goals? Because I know, I mean, you came from Italy, you're in the U.S. now. Are you planning to go back to Italy someday? I mean, your career here in the U.S. seems to be booming, seems to be um, really growing. What are what are your plans to be honest with you? You know, my initial plan has always been to go back to Italy so sooner sooner than later I think I'll I'll make the move I'm also like in a position where I really can manage myself when you know I've always like live on a plane so <laughs> I feel like I can do that from Europe as well of course I'm not looking to move right this second I'm gonna wait a few more years like I my green card got approved and stuff I still gotta collect it but you know at least you know that's a big uh, oh that's a big, so what is so, so does a green card mean you can stay here for a certain amount of years or is it I mean expire? I, I already have like a working visa that I renew a few times so and every time you renew it you can stay in the country for three years and I renew it like already three times oh, so wow. so the green card you gotta you renew it but at the same time it makes you like being become a citizen and you 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 don't have like a double passport yet but at least you know you you can do a lot of things that um you have a lot of freedom compared to just a working visa so that's why i was like really eager to to get and you know i got it through through my uh, yeah like through like um you know things that like like achievements in my career like Mm -hmm. you know that's how like you get you know some people get it getting married i got it like through like uh my achievements in my career so that was really also like a big satisfaction yeah and uh, after so many years of being here congratulations on that that's amazing thank you <laughs> so what uh, what other business ventures are you into are you looking to be on more reality tv are you looking to maybe own a business here in the u.s does the green card does it that i'm assuming that allows you to start any business and yeah yeah I'm always be but I always had that um entrepreneurship side that I haven't been really speaking too much on like on Bravo Mm -hmm. and but you know I already had like uh I already did like have like um 
partnering like in a fitness company and then you know now oh. i'm looking like we're launching like uh it's not we're launching like i'm gonna be like one of the partner of, like a tequila brand that, oh really uh, yeah yeah but, get like, out uh, of here what is it yeah, called um acosta i mean i can't say acosta tequila and uh, it's gonna be launching in oh Miami you can't first. say yet I no, no i can say oh, okay. i can say <laughs> yeah yeah no, no, i mean the, the instagram is out there and stuff i just okay. think uh, it's just the launch is going to be first in miami and florida and oh, then okay. it's going to expand to the rest of like uh of the u.s and um so that's exciting and um then you know i'm still working a lot as a model which makes me really happy <laughs> but because like you know it's nice that you know i'm growing i'm more of a man because you, you i used to be like a a young boy, no beard, nothing. And now, you know, I'm evolving more into the men market. So like, you yeah. Know, um, very like and, black and white pictures with the like very contrast yeah. lighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have a few like uh, photo shoot and um, campaigns uh, coming up and, you know, I'm happy about it. And uh, at one point, I also would like to explore more about Europe because I've been basically working mostly here uh, in the last few years. So at one point, I also would like to to check some like European markets. Uh, nice. But yeah, I mean, as I said, I I spend a lot of time on planes, and I'm happy that now you know, like with the hopefully moving on from the pandemic, I'm, you know, I noticed that I've been back at like traveling as much as I used to. Because yeah. before pandemic, I used to like flying like crazy like Where i was never in new york i mean I, I traveled all over the world but i used to yeah. go to south america central america like asia uh I where went, in asia like, have you been i've been to hong kong which is in my heart I oh, love I love hong hong kong. Kong. what about yeah, korea I love, like, no i haven't been but i want to go like uh, you know oh. seoul is nice yes yes seoul is great yeah i, I would think- love to go you like Hong Kong, I think you would like Seoul. What about Japan? So that's my dream. That's in my back. That's what I'm yeah. If you ask me what which trip would you like to go on, I would tell you Japan. Oh, nice. I yeah, went, so that's I'm, my last trip that I went on, and that was like five years ago. But I'm going to Jamaica on Thursday. So oh amazing. I on. yeah, I've been to Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica. Oh, you like have? I, yeah, I had a job with uh, Usain Bolt like a few years ago oh, like wow. in, 2000, in 2016 because you know his day is there so it was like the face of like a famous like champagne and you know it was like uh i was doing the influencer side of the, that so we had the chance yeah. to hang out a couple of times and uh, it was really nice i was in kingston uh i mean nice. that's where he lives so wow. yeah interesting and, yeah i've been all over the, i've been to some crazy places that i i'm grateful that you know because of my job i was able to explore because probably i wouldn't never like had the chance to go um uh, i because i grew up like traveling a lot with my parents you know i was like uh i was like you know ungrateful because my parents they show me a lot like growing up but I, there's a lot of like exotic location that i don't think i would ever gone uh oh. if it wasn't for my for my job nice yeah that is so cool i think um traveling while you're young in those early years before you settle down with a family is so such a privilege and such a joy and it's so great I, to find I agree. yourself yeah i no, totally i agree it. i agree like you know you get to know different culture you learn from those culture you know you open your mind about different things yeah. i think it's, like it's great yourself. like uh yeah, 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 absolutely yeah because you you said it right because you know i've been also to like some like places that are like you know they went through a lot like you know i was in 80 a few years mm-hmm. ago mm-hmm. and you know it was like uh really important yeah. for me to see that even in guatemala you know you see kids like being really happy like i did some charity in guatemala like a few years ago oh. and uh we brought like toys to these kids like yeah like you know soccer balls like mm-hmm. kind of, that kind of stuff and you could like see like real happiness for little things and yeah. you realize like you know sometimes we complain about like stupid stuff and you know somewhere else in the world there are people that just need just a little bit and they're going to give you the biggest smile and that was like really important for me open my eyes on on a lot of things you know and also like help me to just focus on things that matter you know like 
the BS that sometimes we lose our mind on. And um, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Like, you know, yeah. I'm grateful for some of those trips that really like were like uh, life changing. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> That reminds me, my mother's Korean and my grandmother still lives there. And I went there to visit when I was in high school. This was like late 90s. I know I look really young, but I was you, a teen- you, you do. I was a teenager in the 90s. But um, I remember I went to go visit my grandmother who still lived in the country, like not in Seoul, not in the city. She lived in yeah. the country far away and I remember um her bathroom was outside and I was there in the summer so that was fine but like also the bathroom like there weren't showers or like bathtubs it was just like a drain in the middle of the room and like just tiles everywhere so like and a shower head so you could just spray everything down (laughs) and like the and their toilets are on the ground so you like squat over it (laughs) Like insane. Yeah. And I no, took no. I took a shower in the dark with cold water. It's like a bucket one night. And like my mom was standing there. There was like a man like standing nearby, but it was dark. So it was just like, I can't believe I'm no, here. it's it's crazy, you know, like because you know, you're used to a completely different uh life, like yeah, like you know, and then you you get in like you have the experience, like you experience this kind of stuff, and I feel like it opens like opens your mind and you make you understand yeah. like how lucky you are but at the same time like you know how many how different is this world and you know you like learn like more and more to like you know uh, be listening and respectful towards everyone like I think yes. it was it's a great experience to to yeah. go through yeah. yes no I agree so question going back to your tequila business what got you into that industry? Uh, I mean, it was just more of like a friendship thing that, okay. you know, like, uh, cause I'm doing with like a few friends, some of them that I know from a long time. Okay. And, you know, like, uh, I honestly, I don't drink that much. You don't really see that on the show because, you know, <laughs> you don't see that, but I'm not too much of a drinker, but I love it, you know. Okay. So, you know, that's my, go to go drink if I have to and uh, so that's why I felt really passionate about it and involved yeah. and that's uh good. so let's see I love that um another uh do you know Vita tequila by Lisa Barlow Lisa Lisa Bar- do you know Lisa Barlow I know her daughters her daughters <laughs> wait Liz- Lisa's housewife right no, yeah, but she's from Salt Lake City. Lisa Barlow. She has. Oh one- no, 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 no! I, I, sorry, I got uh, messed up with Lisa from Beverly Hills, right? Oh, Lisa Vanderpump. You know Lisa no. Vanderpump? No, 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 no. What is Rena? Oh, Lisa Rena. Oh, you know, um, what's her name? No, I, Amelia. No, I mean, I, Amelia and. No, I, I met Delilah a few years ago. Delilah. No, no, no. Oh, okay okay yeah yeah yeah. sorry i got confused no no no. i know the name but i i know the name of um lisa barlow because i i've seen her all over the the social media but i'm not familiar with her with her personality or her character oh but i know i I don't know about the tequila yeah she she has she has a vita tequila company and she's my favorite housewife but i was wondering do you watch any housewives or any other bravo shows no, to be honest with you, I'm really bad at it. I mean, I'm always being familiar with Bravo, but at yeah. the same time, like, you know, even that time that I went to, to Andy's to <laughs> during, uh, during winter hours, and, you know, they played that game about the Tinder, like, you know, swap left, swap right, and they, oh. they show me all this picture from, like, uh, the housewives. I was oh. just giving my answer based on looks. I have okay. no clue about <laughs> anything about their personality. So gotcha, I have gotcha. no idea. So oh my like, gosh. How did you how did you swipe left on her and you swipe right on oh, the other? Oh, people got upset? No, some people did, but <laughs> I have no I have no clue. I have no clue. That you know? is so like, funny. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm familiar with that they're from the franchise of like the housewife. I know it's yeah. like big worldwide but I, yeah. I haven't really watched it so it's okay I totally get I it <laughs> <laughs> somebody asked 
under what, so this is someone from Instagram near nothing asked under what circumstances would you change your last name back to your old one? Yeah, I talked a few times, you know, it all happened randomly a long time ago and, you know, it became the thing. Uh, but, you know, my legal name is still Salerno. I don't yeah. think uh, for my career, I will ever change it, you know, because it's, it would be hard to change it like after so many years. But, yeah. you know, legal, legally, when, one day my children are going to have my last name. Yeah. So, my, re my real one. But if, I don't think you guys are going to see me like on Instagram or like on TV or like on any fashion, like uh, photo shoot and stuff with my real last name anytime yeah. soon. I don't think so. If anything, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. It's like your stage name. Right? Yeah, it's my stage name. That's and, like you know, Jenny Blaze. Like Blaze is yeah. not my last name, but but it sounds it sounds good. It does sound good, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it, and I love it. It sounds great, honestly. And personally, I love Denver as well. Like for example, in Italy, Denver is really cool. Yeah. In America, it's mixed feelings. A lot of people like it. Some people are like, oh, it sounds like a porn actor, but I love it. First thing really? people like people say that. Yeah, yeah. Those are the people that. who are watching a lot of porn, I guess. <laughs> One of my good friends in real life, her name is Amy. Um, can you say hi, Amy? Just for... Hi, Amy. Oh my hi, gosh. how are you? She's going to love that. <laughs> so she wants to know, and again, you don't have to say who or a name or anything, but she wanted to know who, is, who are you dating and are they someone who is on Bravo? Uh, it's funny. No, it's not nobody on Bravo. Okay, okay. But it's, it's somebody that I tied on Bravo like years ago. You knew from Bravo? No, no, no. I didn't know until like we met. But like, it's funny because she was on uh, Project Runway. <gasps> like a few, yeah, a few seasons ago. She was just doing the, the runway. I mean, now she transitioned into interior design. She's like, she models still, but like not as, like she's more like into, like she went to, she's going to like, one of the best school in uh in the world of interior design and stuff but she was on project runway a few years ago so, and that was funny because i i didn't know i had no clue like uh so it was funny that you know i was on bravo and i met somebody that yeah you know, oh my tied God. to bravo yeah i, I have no idea. love project runway like oh you do yeah that's like my first bravo show that i ever watch i love it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that I'm means not she's even, really, I'm, really talented. She's no, probably amazing. No, 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 Wait, no, she wasn't no, on it? No, she wasn't a designer. She was like one of the she girls, was a like model. walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but she's dead. really, she's really talented in her in interior design. Wow, awesome. And, oh gosh, and you know, she knows all about like history, like also like the influence from the romans like neoclassic classic baroque so it's like oh, and it's all yeah. stuff that i started growing up you know like that's like my background um oh. yeah because i studied you know i studied I had classic studies in high school and then i studied like communication so I'll, i had to study all like history philosophy all that kind of stuff so we really oh. get along like we i love like talking uh, oh. about that kind of stuff of her yeah no no but she was uh she was just uh she was walking for like the designer some Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. So did wait, did you meet her or how did you guys meet? We so we met out randomly, like New York City. Get out of here. Yeah, it was totally random. And, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we we connected and uh and as well. Then unfortunately we we split. And and then you know I found a, a way back in as well. Took me a long time, but you know, I was able to redeem myself. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm like, yeah. I'm putting this on my my mental vision board. You and this person, they're you guys are the perfect couple, and you have just an amazing think, love journey. <laughs> I just, I just think those few months apart were like necessary to come to the realization what really matters what are the new priorities that I'm looking for? Like, I think initially I kind of wanted to not realize that, like, you know, I wanted to like, you know, like I want to be yeah. myself, you know, I want to like yeah. be a bachelor for a few more years. But then, you know, the reality comes up and you, you can't like deny feelings. 
you know gotcha. if you if you keep thinking about someone and you're like you think about the good memories and nothing bad ever happened it's just like you didn't feel like ready or you were trying to like escape from that feeling of like feeling good about someone but at one point you can hide and you know like you gotta admit to yourself that you know if you're meant to be with someone you gotta give it a try but uh, and you know that was like i realized that and but like she didn't want to do anything to do with it like she didn't want to like uh no because she was mad so like you know because when we we ended things in first place you know like it was in the best way and so she was like i don't want to like deal with you uh, ever no because it was it was just like the fact that I didn't want to like be honest about my feelings and you know I was trying to put a wall uh -huh. and how to convince myself that I wasn't ready um uh, she saw it as a, a red flag and so I tried for a long time to ready myself to ask for a second chance for many for many months I got like no chance like not even able to speak or anything and then at one wow. point she realized that like you know she she was too hard on me and we were able to you know we have been able to you won uh, her over after all that wow yeah yeah <laughs> no it, you. it was you're such yeah, a great it guy was, it was tough oh oh my gosh now i'm like now i'm envisioning this like love story spin-off show you and your girlfriend <laughs> i mean it was uh you know i'm so happy now that i don't even think about that time but you know if, like i have a lot of like bad memories about that time but you know i was like so confused about many things um, and uh you know but i'm happy now that's all that matters and i'm happy where we are at you know i'm having a great time and uh everything is going well so yeah. let's cross fingers but as i said earlier like i like to take one step at a time because i feel like you build things one day after like every every day you build something like you know you put a brick on top every day to be to build like a big like construction i call it um well i didn't coin this word but kaizen have you ever heard of that uh, you see, what is that it's like a i think it was originated in japan kaizen it's k a i z e n and it mm -hmm. means continuous improvement and yeah. so just like um, part of like, one of the things I used to say all the time is I'm Kaizen Jen or Jenny please. But, yeah. um, cause I'm always trying to, you know, slowly work on myself, always improve, do better. And it's I, like I, I, I'm, very I'm like, yes, absolutely. It's always been like that in life. You know, I always try to, I did a lot of mistakes. I'm honest, like, but I always try to learn from my mistakes and also try to work through them and always trying to improve myself and become a better man. Of course, like, we're never going to be perfect and you know we're far from perfect we always try to become a better version of yourself and you know like achieve new things and like feeling you know learn from your mistakes yeah. that's why even if you go through difficulties and uh, bad moments i learned to like don't be mad about it but like realize that you're right. learning and you're going to be ready for for the next for the next adventure like then like the adventure meant as the next like whatever is going to come in your life whatever doors open up for you yeah, i 100 agree with you in fact that kind of brings me to um something i want to ask you because no. i'm you know i'm a digital entrepreneur i'm always looking for you know to expand my business and have new doors open and part of my business is i have a ton of merch fan merch okay. And so part of that, I have to start modeling and I am not a model. I am about to you have the 40. face though. I, I do have a face, but I'm about to be 40 years old. So I need basic, basic tips on a, prof, you know, from a professional on how to model the best way possible. Jason gave me a few tips. He said, what did you say? What did you say? He said, it's all about the angles. And I was like, well, what angles like this angle or like <laughs> this angle? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Really. I, I mean, just that, that was a, that was a good advice. I just feel like <laughs> you gotta like put yourself in front of the mirror and like find your angle. Like what is yeah. your bedside and stuff that definitely helps. Yeah. And then, you know, 
just feel comfortable like you know everybody like you know can model so just like what like just be yourself that's be all like yeah be yourself yeah, yeah. Don't, mm. oh know. he taught me something else he said um the perfect smiles when you close your eyes think of something that you like and then open <laughs> I, you know what I do? Yeah, I mean, that's a good tip. And I, I, what I do, I try to think about something funny and start laughing. Like sometimes like if I got to take a photo shoot and I have to smile, I start laughing out loud. It's pretty embarrassing, but you know, it's the only <laughs> way for me to get like a good smile. Yeah. So, so confession, I did my yeah. own, like my own photo shoot right here. I have a little backdrop and I have some lighting but it was all self portraits. So I had like a little remote, but all my okay. pictures, I had like a oh, remote cool, in though. my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, I felt like, like it was limiting me. So I put it on the floor and I started tapping it with my toe. <laughs> and okay. that, that made me laugh and I actually got really good pictures from it. <laughs> you see, I feel like when the, the smiles come natural or you think yeah. about something funny, that's when you get a bad smiley picture. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. I, I completely agree on that. Natural <laughs> smile. Yeah, that was a good move. <laughs> you should ask your husband to help you. You know what he's really good at is taking really bad pictures of me. <laughs> really? Just getting, I, just getting my try, a tripod and you put the camera and you know. <laughs> I know. I need to like play a YouTube video for him or something. Um, <laughs> Keep blazing. Ooh, I like that. <laughs>